Hey everybody, my name is Christian, and today we're going to have a percussion discussion. Percussion discussion. Percussion discussion. It's a percussion discussion. So, how many of you think you know what a percussion instrument might be? Do you know any by name? Oh, yeah. No. Any, anybody else? Elephant. Is it uh, an elephant? An elephant? No, an elephant's way off. A percussion instrument is anything that you strike with a stick or a mallet or with your hand. And today I'm gonna to show you a few of those instruments and demonstrate them. So the first example of a percussion instrument would be these. Does anybody know what these are called? Drums. That's right, these are drums, but these specifically are called bongo drums. These are Afro-Cuban drums that come from origins of Cuba as well as Africa. And they are normally heard in Latin American style songs and are played with your hands. When people think of percussion, they also think of drums or the drum set. The drum set is used in traditional music like rock and roll and jazz. The drum set is all made up of different individual percussion instruments like the snare drum, bass drum, and the toms. These up here, does anybody know what those are called? Those are called cymbals, and these are percussion instruments too because we strike them with a stick. So this is called the hi-hat. This is called the ride cymbal. And this is the crash cymbal, my favorite. And together, they sound like this. How many of you know what this is called? I'll give you a hint. It's the name of the shape that it's in. That's right, it's a triangle. And a triangle is a percussion instrument. We get to hit it with this little beater and it sounds just like this. It has different sounds depending on where you hit it. Sometimes you hear it like that. Sometimes you hear it in a groove. Pretty cool, huh? How many of you know what this instrument is? It's the piano! That's right, it's the piano. But wait a minute, why am I sitting at a piano if we're talking about percussion? You tell us. Well, the piano, believe it or not, is also a percussion instrument. And you want to know why? Check this out. When I play the instrument, small hammers on the bottom side of the keys, when I play each key, come up and strike the string. So remember what we said in the beginning that any percussion instrument is an instrument that gets struck by a stick or a hand? Well, a piano is a percussion instrument. Check it out. ideas on what this instrument might be? Xylophone. I heard xylophone. Glockenspiel. Glockenspiel. Those are all really close guesses, but this is actually called a marimba. I knew that. Can you say marimba? Marimba. The marimba is like the xylophone and has wooden bars, but these bars are very long and very thin, so they resonate, they ring out. Up at the high end, it sounds a little bit like a xylophone.
but as you go lower, the bars get bigger and the notes ring out even longer. One of the cool things about the size of the instrument is that sometimes I play with four mallets so I can reach even more notes. Whoa. I can play two in one hand and two in the other. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. That allows me to play chords. It also allows me to do what's called a ripple roll, where I play each note at a different time. It sounds like this. Who knows what this is? Oh, oh okay. It's not technically a percussion instrument. It's, it's technically popcorn. But what happens if I do this? It turns into a percussion instrument. That's right. You all at home probably have things that you could turn into percussion instruments and you didn't even know it. This is just what we would call a shaker. Do you, any of you know what this instrument is? A xylophone? It's not a xylophone. A marimba? It's not a marimba. This is called a vibraphone. Can you all say vibraphone? Vibraphone. The vibraphone is really cool. In fact, before it was a legitimate percussion instrument, it was a sound effect instrument. One of the first sounds that it made was this. That's right, that's from NBC, the television network. Another really cool sound effect it makes is this one. like a dream, right? So I play this instrument with a jazz band, and that's with a piano player and a drummer and a bass player, and I play the melody on this instrument. And what makes this instrument really special is it has a sustain pedal. That means that these bars ring really long, even longer than the marimba. And you know why? It's what they're made of. They're made of metal. So when I put the sustain pedal down, just like I do on the piano, they ring and ring and ring. And when I let it up, it stops. Something else really cool about this instrument is it has a motor. Oh, well, not like a car or truck motor, but a motor that spins a little belt over here and spins fans inside of what these are called. These are called resonators. And that makes the instrument sound like it has vibrato, like when somebody who sings with vibrato it sounds like this. I hope you enjoyed our percussion discussion. And to close things out, I'll play a little melody that you might recognize on the vibraphone.